Drop Zone Diva. We're here again at hcfradio.com studios. And today I brought you a little grace, a little glamour. And for those of you who didn't know, Houston just had its annual, well, we're hoping it's annual, the Houston Caribbean Queen competition. And I am here with the first winner, Mrs. Houston Caribbean Queen. Yes. Welcome to the studios and thank you for joining us. Thank you. All right, now I know out there we all consider ourselves to be the Caribbean Queen. <laughs> Miss Shoal over here, she has the crown to prove it. How does it feel? Uh, <laughs> it's amazing. I feel very accomplished. I worked very hard for this. Um, you know, I still had school going on and I made time for this, so I, I really wanted this. I was very persistent and and you good. Yes. I see it. You are brilliant. <laughs> I see it here. It's absolutely beautiful and Thank so are you. you. So Thank once you. again, congratulations. Thank now, tell me, I know that this is a big accomplishment in your life, but I did a little research on you because when I heard the queen was coming, <laughs> you know I had to look you up. But when I saw you've been pretty busy, you've been busy for a long time. Yes. This is nothing new for you. Um, I know everybody out there is wondering who you are and pretty much the first thing that's going to come to their mind when they see this interview is Abuda. <laughs> <laughs> I know. They want to know who you are. So let's tell right. um, You were originally born in Belize, correct? I was born in Belize, All right. yes. And what brought you to Houston? Opportunity. Okay. I mean, um, my family moved here for opportunity and for me to have a better education, for me to make something out of myself and to hopefully go back to my country and better Belize. Okay. Now, while I was digging, because I was digging, <laughs> I was digging, I saw that you've been a part of many associations, charity work. You're only 19, going yes. on 20. Yes. Most girls your age are more interested in the next turn up uh -huh. white party. <laughs> Most girls are interested in that. But what was it in you or in your life that inspired you to reach out and try to achieve more? I would have to say sacrifice. My parents sacrificed a lot for us. And it was my job to make something out of myself, you know? and. Mm -hmm. I just, I'm very persistent. I know what I want. I go after it. And I just always want to stay busy. If you're not busy, um, some, some bad's going to happen. You're going to end up in jail, you know, married, 19. And that, that wasn't <laughs> for me. I know I want to be someone and to, for somebody to look up to me someday. She's Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a product of the Caribbean. Now, amongst all these other things, you're also a student at Texas State University. Right? Yes. He's about kids. <laughs> so you're smart and beautiful. Now that's a Caribbean queen. I'm proud of you. Thank I'm proud you. to say. She's proud of you. <laughs> we appreciate you and I'm proud of my, to say you are a Caribbean woman. You're definitely Thank you. representing. Thank definitely, you. definitely, definitely. Okay, now tell me this. You are busy out there. You're doing charity work. You're doing all sorts of things. What made you join this competition? How did you come across it anyway? I saw her on Facebook, and it really? was another Belizean girl that I know I grew up with her. Mm -hmm. And I called my mom and was like, Mom, why didn't you tell me about this? I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to do pageants, but I was busy with everything else. I was oh, involved. so this is your first pageant? Yes, this is my first okay, one. Okay, yes, all right. And you won. <laughs> but yeah, I've always, I've always <laughs> wanted to do stuff like that. I've always wanted to do pageants. It was all about me not having the money at the time okay. or not even having the time. And it was, it was just too crazy. Was there any training involved, or did you just jump in? Jump in. Just natural? Natural. She's a natural. Yes. Okay. And I also had help with my previous things that I've done. I, I had FCCLA, which of stands course. for Family, Career, Community okay. Leaders of America. Right. And I started this organization at my school, which is a college mentor program. You started the organization? Yes, I did. She's I started leader. it my junior year in high school. Okay. And basically, it's a teacher who went to Texas State, and they would help me through the application process meal, housing, and help me get into Texas State. So that's what I started, and we increased the rate of people going to colleges and universities at our school. Wow, you just made my resume look really <laughs> So yeah, I've had, I've had help, and I've had um, a background with public speaking and speaking in front of judges and people, so and that, that's right up my alley, and I love So it. you've always been a Caribbean queen, basically. Yeah. You're just waiting for that. No, I just have the title. <laughs> exactly, now it's official though. Yes. Nobody can take that from you. Right. They're gonna try though. They're gonna try. But congratulations again on that. Thank you. It's just distracting me. It's so it's beautiful. I know. It's absolutely beautiful. I know it feels good on there though, right? It's kinda heavy, but I like I wear probably. Probably sleeping. All right, now tell me this. It is a competition. And yes, you are smart and she is beautiful, but she's also human. What part of the competition maybe sparks up a few nerves, a little butterflies? It would have to be my talent. The talent? Yes, I played the violin okay. for my talent. I played My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion. 
And I played the violin back when I was in middle school for about four years, and I had to learn to play all over again. I stopped playing it. I wanted to do acting, so I did acting. I wanted to do cross country, so I did cross country. I wanted to do track, so I did that. And then I wanted to be a cheerleader, so I was a cheerleader. And then I quit that, and then I wanted to do college. So I did community college when I was in high school, graduated with my associates. And then I was like, you know what, let's just do something else. And then our Busy. What are you going to do next? Presidency? Government? What are you going to do? I want to work for the United Nations someday yeah. to better the Caribbean and other countries. That's definitely what I want to do. Now, as far as the Caribbean, I know that that was a, each person had something to do with the Caribbean as far as your platform. What was your platform in the competition? The issue of domestic violence amongst women and children. And what was your message behind that? What were you hoping to get out there? that it shouldn't be swept under the rug anymore. I feel like it's such a touchy, sensitive topic, mm -hmm. and nobody really wants to speak about it in the Caribbean. You know, they're very secretive, even though people know, and it's just not something you speak out on. It's not something you really get help on. It's not something that somebody really brings a spotlight on it that says, hey, this is an issue. Something needs to be done. Definitely. So that's what I'm here for. I love that you are so beautiful and you have such a good <laughs> head on your She's beautiful and so I love you. this. I'm loving you. this right now. Now tell me this. Let's get a little bit of the juice out there. Okay. We all know about pageants, and we all know what happens when a group of women get together. It can get a little catty. Oh, of course. So was any of that going on? Is there any, who put the paint in my hairspray? Who stole my weave? <laughs> I mean, it didn't, it didn't get messy like that, but yes. it was it was a lot of talk. I mean, it was a lot of stuff on Facebook. It was, oh. it, was, it, was it was really just childish. But we kept it classy. Or, of course. Yeah. And I mean, I didn't focus on it. I didn't let it get to me. Good. Um, Good. I don't let little things try to take my shine away or, you know what I'm saying? I, I just hold my head high, I know what I want, and I go for it. And it, it, did, it didn't bother me, and it, it was just whatever. She was not shaken. <laughs> now, the first thing that came to my mind when I think of pageants or if it was me in any competition, you mm -hmm. walk into the room and the first thing I do is I'm sizing up all the girls. <laughs> so from the beginning, who was the one person, keeping in mind, we'll be nice, mm -hmm. <laughs> who was the one person you kept your eye on through the whole time? Your biggest competition. I didn't have one. Oh. I didn't look at it like I was going in there to, oh, well, I look better than her, or oh, I need to be her, oh, well, she can, she can do this, she can walk. I didn't look at it like that. You know, I came here for a purpose, mm -hmm. and I have a platform that I need to obtain and, you know, put some action towards it. And that, that was my goal. That's what I looked at. And I felt like if I were to have those girls get to me or if I were to look at them like, okay, well, you were competition, mm -hmm. then it wasn't really about making long-last long friendships. It was more of just like, okay, well, I'm not going to like you after this. And I didn't, I didn't look at it like that. I made, a, I made lifelong friends. I'm still close with a lot of them. Good. And I'm very grateful for this opportunity just because I got to meet people, network, and build long-lasting friendships. And that, that's how I looked at it. I didn't look at it like somebody, oh, well, you know, I don't like her. You know, I didn't, I didn't look at it like that. And I feel like if you have that mindset, you're not going to get far in life. Absolutely. That was a perfect answer. <laughs> Anybody out there who's accomplished anything knows the only competition that's there is yourself. Right. And she has proved it. And right. First time, and she is wearing the crown. <laughs> please learn. Please learn. Now, as far as the future goes, what do you have planned? What's next? What are you taking over next? Okay, Miss Texas. That's in July. Okay. I'll probably be the shortest one, but hey, I got the moves. I have the voice. I have the poise to do it. So I believe I can. <laughs> I, I believe I'll go far. You know what? I actually believe you. You've done so much in such a short period of time, I don't doubt you. Oh, I'm on your team. Yeah, okay. Just so you know. And I don't plan on entering anything else. Oh, geez. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. So is there anything, anyone out there that you wanted to give a shout out to? Do you want to say thank you to anyone? The directors, Shama and Kelly. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, they came in here with wanting to build women, empower women. and allow them to have a voice in the, in the Caribbean community. And I just want to say thank you for that. You gave these women an opportunity to do this. And I'm just very grateful for the opportunity. And I also want to thank my mom for being there. Of course. For having my back and just supporting me and always guiding my path and keeping me on the right direction. That's great. Mr. and Mrs. Scholl, you've done an amazing job. We recognize <laughs> it, the world recognizes it. And I'm pretty sure there's no one out there that's going to doubt this one's going to be <laughs> I'm very proud to call you a Caribbean Thank woman you. myself. I'm, it was a pleasure meeting you. Nice Ladies and gentlemen, you. once again, it's acfradio.com. Here with Risha Shaw, the winner <laughs> and the first official Houston Caribbean queen. Yes.